decided to get married in Nashville. We lived there at the time, and both of us having families from different areas, we thought it would only be fair for everybody to travel. So we ended up picking Opryland Hotel in that white gazebo in the Delta Pavilion, which that hotel is beautiful and it's huge, and everybody loved it. It was really pretty. Our reception, just randomly, it happened to be the day that I signed my record deal. So it was a pretty important day in my life, to say the least. I grew up in a town in central south Arkansas, about uh, 45, 50 miles south of Little Rock. Little bitty town, about 300 people. You know, when you grow up in a really small town like I did, there are only two or three things that, that really matter. Church, family, and then sports. I was obsessed with sports. I played baseball and basketball growing up. Thought that I was gonna be a, a professional baseball player growing up, and then I stopped growing at five, six, and realized that I, I needed to, to kind of set my sights on something other than, than that. And, you know, music was something that I always loved. I loved country music specifically because it was kind of describing the way that I was growing up. You know, I thought that, that Hank Jr. and Alan Jackson and George Strait and all these guys, I thought that they were singing songs about me the way that I was growing up. And, and they were, really, because they, they kind of grew up the same way. And I knew that I could sing you know, like the people that I was listening to on the radio. I'd only sang in church, and I did that reluctantly because my mom and dad made me, and if, if you grew up in a town of 300 people, not a whole lot of them sing on key. So guess who got all the lead vocals and all the plays and stuff? Uh, it was me. It never crossed my mind that it was something that I could have a career in. Because when you grow up in a town like I did, um, you know, that's that's kind of a crazy <laughs> thought. And then when I graduated high school in 2002, my parents said, what do you think about playing music for a living? I said, well, hell, I didn't know you could do that. You can do that? I, I, you mean I ain't got to go to college and get a real job? And he's like, well, we can try it. You know what? You can always go back to college, give this a whirl while you're young and single and all that good stuff. So I certainly am, am thankful. For that. I discussed my parents and how much, uh, you know, support they've shown me. Uh, nobody's shown me more support in my career and my journey than Kate. I, I certainly would not have had the success without her and her support. 